your eyes. This is your home. The red cloud you see is the accumulation of gases resulting from the excessive consumption of fossil fuels which is causing the global warming of our planet. The contamination produced by automotive vehicles goes directly into our lungs and it is estimated that by the year 2020 there will be over a billion cars in circulation. Can you imagine what kind of air we will breathe if this trend is not altered? This is Mexico City. Inhabited by more than 18 million people and over three and a half million cars in circulation. Millions of individuals spend more than two and a half hours transporting themselves from one place to another. Privately owned vehicles occupy most of the available street space and transport a minority of the population, while 80% are forced to use a deficient public transport system. What is indeed shared by both public and private transport users are the consequences of traffic jams, pollution, waste of time, noise, stress, accidents, and deterioration of health and urban spaces. Imagine living in a city without so much traffic, where people are able to walk about freely, with a lot more public places for recreation, where children can grow healthy. It was in the city of Curitiba in Brazil that a system was developed for the first time which was friendly to the user, the city and the environment. The system, known worldwide as BRT, has been the point of departure for the improvement of transport and quality of life in cities as diverse as Bogotá, Colombia, Beijing, China. Brisbane, Australia, and Leon in Mexico. BRT is a mass transport system that is quick, safe, and orderly. It has its own infrastructure, purpose-built lanes, stations, and terminals for the sole use of the system. It uses high-capacity, state-of-the-art technology and it dovetails with the other public transport modes. The access to the stations is agile by means of intelligent cards that substitute the use of cash for payment. Its facilities and buses are equipped for easy access with wheelchairs. But the key to its success lies in the planning, organization and control of the operation. Open your eyes once again. The inhabitants of Mexico City share a common dream.
live in a city that is more humane. In accordance to this vision, BRT comes to Mexico City under the name Metrobus. Construction of the first line along Insurgentes Avenue has seen the beginning of this project of capital importance for the future of the metropolis. Planned as a network of corridors, it will cover the most important avenues. The line will begin at Indios Verdes and will end in San Angel. It will have 36 stations designed for quick boarding and will connect its passengers with seven subway stations. Its nearly 20 kilometers of transit will allow a quick transit between the north and south ends of the city. The Insurgentes Metrobus will be allocated with exclusive lanes on the left side of the avenue, which will be isolated in order to avoid for other vehicles to enter, thus guaranteeing a continuing and regular flow of circulation. 80 articulated buses will substitute the more than 300 microbuses and city transport buses that currently provide transport service to the 250,000 passengers which currently use public transport along the avenue. The passengers will access the system by using intelligent cards as payment. They will wait for the bus, which will come by regularly and they will be able to board promptly and proceed towards a destination. The Metro Bus is a new transport alternative, comfortable, secure and efficient, that will contribute to improve our quality of life. Open your eyes. Live, feel, and share your city. Metro Bus is a project for improving movement, space, and community life in Mexico City. It is a wager for a gentle kind of flow in which we all can participate, with actions as simple as walking more, using the bicycle, sharing the automobile or leaving it parked in order to use public transport. Acquaint yourself with Metrobus. Use it. Take care of it. Make it yours. This is your city. Your home. A place of the present and the future. A space for you, for your family, for all of us. <laughs>